NCTV 45, The Train, anytime on your time. So that's how you do a uh, at-home C-section. Really? Like you have to be on the roof. So that has to be a, a nice clear day. That's interesting that you it would say that. Save you some money. Folks, welcome to the Padula Show Extra featuring huh. Jay and Jay. Uh, the date is August 15th, 2016. It's uh, nice to see you all. Actually, I have no idea yeah, what the date is. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Uh, you can contact us at NCTV45. Uh, Angela will be happy to give you what today's date is. Uh, you can and the weather and the weather and, and how to divide in an obituary if necessary if and, you're feeling under the Italian. weather. Did you see his uh, NCTV 45 lately? I don't watch that. It's like the best of access TV. The best of access TV. Oh, cable what? access. What? Mm -hmm. yeah. You can reach us at nctv45.com, nctv45 at gmail.com, 724-510-7345. I don't know why I give out this information because nobody ever contacts yes, us. Yes, that's, that's all lies. And we're on V3 TV in the UK, thanks to Vaughn Joseph. That is legit. And we are on Roku TV. And once we get this new guy situated, we will inform you like we told you before. We're working. Exactly. We're, we're working, working on it, Jerry. Jerry. Oh, we're working. Hey, and by the way, if you haven't read this in the newspaper... Uh, by in Waltham, by stretch marks, there is uh, Dr. Leakey, the archaeologist, mm -hmm. was yeah. there. And and from what I understand, I don't have pictures yet, but I think we're going to send one of our people down. Yeah. Uh, they well, we have an intern already down there on site, so you, uh, we'll we do be, be hearing back from. Them we we want to hear about this, and, and hopefully we get pictures that we can share uh, with you on Twitter. Not, not to interrupt, but right. uh, speaking of Roku, folks, we're we're hanging on by a thread, so make sure that you watch our episodes and pass them on through V3 TV. Okay, good, and, and this may help people watch because you know if you have the History Channel, or whatever, this helps because they didn't know. And, and listen to me, stretch marks was, uh, has been around for a year now, mm -hmm. but with this finding, there's a lot of feelings there that stretch marks may have been around for a long time. And here's what uh, Professor Leakey, Dr. Leakey, found: pubo, it's a pubic rectilius mm. that was found. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, it was, what, what? I tried. <laughs> I tried to keep straight. <laughs> so, yeah, what a find. Um, and, and it's amazing. Um, <laughs> it was, that's a heck of a find. And, you was know, it it's just, a carnivore or a herbivore? Do they know? Both. Mm. Uh, which makes it more, even more interesting. Uh, but wow, what a what a find down there! And and you know, it's right next to, and, and I'll tell you, it's right next to where they show the movies. Okay, uh, can I just get right into the movie thing? Okay, <laughs> what's wrong? Yeah, it's it's good. Did they yeah, find the, the complete skeleton? Are they, huh? gonna, are they gonna put it in the Pittsburgh, whatever that is, <laughs> historical I, I, museum? You know what? I don't know. Mm -hmm. But it's interesting. I did drive by. Congratulations, they, Professor Lee. Yeah, very, very fascinating find. Mm -hmm. And our intern, you know, this is why you become an. Generally, intern. when they find a new species, though, they have a tendency to name it after themselves. Right, so, right. Uh, they find that name curious. Well, well, you know what? We'll keep you posted, and, and I know uh, with with the, the, the dancers, they're all for. They've raised tons of money over the summer for baseball, Pop mm -hmm. Warner football, which is coming up, cheerleading, reading programs, and book here's, a thon. Here's and here's um, one of the, the movie this week. Uh, great movie. Back in the day, they changed the name to it just a little bit. <laughs> I'm afraid it's uh, How Stella Got Her Tubes Packed. It's it's uh, it's it's you know what it's been out there on, on VCR, but here they remastered and re-edited, mm -hmm. and it's how Stella got her tubes back. <laughs> so, 
listen to me. Happy just, for Stella. Yeah, just get back and and, and uh, to. No, she got packed. <laughs> her tubes. Yeah. Uh, just make sure you get down early for this particular movie. Yeah, it's, it's like excellent. I said, it's been remastered, well, the, re-edited. The Cannes Film Festival uh, rated it an A plus, which they don't wow. give that rating out very no, very they often. Don't. Uh, they don't. So, and it's, it's a must see. It, it, it is it, it, a must see section. Did you say? No. Okay. So let me get to uh, the other one too. Is uh, <laughs> this is a Tom Hanks movie that uh, was a big hit? Um, I don't know. Uh, what's uh, a few years ago? Joe versus the volcano. No, no, that was one of like his first, with John Candy. No, no. Um, Passed away. No, 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 no. This movie uh, had two different versions to it. Okay. And I, can I tell you the other version, and then sure. you'll guess what the movie okay. is. And people, if you play along, play, play along, along and, and see if you get this is called um, Sourced Rump. So it uh, a big hit. He changed the name a little bit. He wanted to get it out there to uh, Asian companies, Asian film companies, and Source Rump. Nice movie. John Candy's not in this particular no. one. Um, he said life is like a box of enemas. Mm. Uh, you just just don't know which one. Right. So, and then he then he said, uh, "Great line, great line. Oh. oh, just so applicable to life." Yes. And speaking of enemas, I'm very disappointed. No, we're friends. The, no, really? Yeah. Well, thank you. Uh, I'm very disappointed because all these Emmy nominations came out and Enema nominations came out. We weren't even nominated. Yeah, I thought I was at least, disappointed. Yeah, and a I, nomination would have been nice. So recognition. Yeah, because we're so different than what you'll see on podcasts. Like I said, we're a podcast slash podcom. Different characters. We go way above and beyond. Come on. But not to be nominated? You mean Veep? On HBO, beat us out with right. Julia Louise Dreyfus. Right. Well, Modern she's Family. Still looking good. She she is, but Modern Family. Come I on. will have to disagree with you there. Modern Family is pretty freaking funny. But funnier than this? No. But anyway, again, if you get a chance, get down to um, stretch marks. Stretch yeah, marks. Get excellent. those movies, those drive-ins. Very very nice, and I think Professor Leakey will have that rectilis, the pubo rectilis on display. Uh, I don't know how. Right. A, a small caveat, uh, don't look for the drive-in, look for drive it in. Uh, right, drive that, in. That's their preference. Right, very for good. Movie. Yeah. And then and big then, banner. You can't miss it. Right by stretch marks. And then uh, I, I have believe they'll show the films on the side of uh, Bohemus, but if I'm not mistaken. And, and football season's right around the corner. Right around the corner. Now, there was a great movie back with uh, Denzel Washington. Mm, any given Sunday. <laughs> Would be Al Pacino. But this particular movie, uh, again, Replacements. That was yeah. Keanu Reeves. Okay. Dude. This, is, this, is a, this was a big hit movie, especially in Rio. Uh, it sold over a thousand dollars with the tickets and in this the first particular four movie, days I believe in, in the first four days yeah. and this is called remember the tight ones so it's a football movie <laughs> it's it's I love it I love it I it. I saw it talking about spirals I believe <laughs> it's Listen a to whole, me. I'm telling you what'd you say all the genre whole, of spirals what'd you say right the whole no, okay but genre of spirals. I, I just love Remember the Tight Ones. I, 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 it was a great movie. You don't want to remember the duck ones because they don't, uh, the duck with the D, uh-huh. uh, they don't they don't fly as well. So uh-huh. it's remember the tight ones, the spiral. And so, you know what, uh, since we have time, I may as well just give you the list for the duration of the month of, the month of July. And they have, uh, again, for um, you Italians out there, uh, this Wednesday will be the Rod Father. Yo, that'll be <laughs> what? <laughs> It'll be this Wednesday. <laughs> Is that the three-part miniseries? It's a three-part miniseries, mm. The Rod Father, and um, he'll, it, it, it's if you have never seen it before, mm-hmm. you, you better and bring some chili because yeah. it's chili yeah. night, and right. uh, make sure you can put that you know chili on your. Uh, I believe that. Ron Jeremy reprises the role that Marlon Brando did. Right, right. Uh, and he does, I'll tell you what, it's a little outside his comfort zone, but right. uh, he does an excellent job. And he's the hardest working man in show business. Yes, he is. And, and you, you got to respect the guy. 
But Rodfather, uh, if you look how well it did, I think where was this at in the in the, in the Arctic? It did quite well. Quite in the well. Arctic, yeah. Yes, that's what I heard. Did, very very popular very, very with the Eskimos. Well. Yes. I don't think they quite understood what was going on, but it but it they touched liked a nerve somewhere. It, yeah, it, it, it they did, and I, I gotta really tell you, it's a great movie, and it's not even in color. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. It's not in color. In fact, it's on eight millimeter. Yeah, which it kind of gives it a throwback feel. It, it does. Sorry. It does. And, and um, well, there's only two more uh, movies to, that'll hopefully help you out through the month of July, so you can make your plans for the weekend. Accordingly, correct. Uh, weapons of ass destruction. Now, <laughs> listen to me. If you like movies like The Expendables, you'll love this. Weapons of Ass Destruction. Uh, <laughs> I, I, you talk, <laughs> it's, in a, it's packed. The movie, <laughs> I'm telling you, but I tell you, <laughs> it's packed. It's packed. It, it's packed. a good <laughs> Back. I'm telling you, and, and, and Freddie Fudge is one of the main actors, and he does a great job. He's uh, related to Freddie Prince Jr., uh, right. I believe the third cousin right. on his uncle's side. Right. So Great actor. You're not going to, see, this is what I'm saying. We didn't get nominated for uh, an Emmy. I don't know why. We bring all these things to you that are quite different, quite right. well, this unique. Is, this is more of a community happenings segment. Uh, you know, right. it's not real popular in, you know, in Europe. Let's be honest. Right. Unless you are planning a trip over the United States uh, to the general Newcastle area, then you can check out Stretch Marks of Walpole. Right. However, I have been told uh, via the owner of Stretch Marks that mm -hmm. they plan on doing some live uh, web feeds of some of the movies. Um, as long as they can get permission. Right. They did a birthday party uh, for little Tommy Santillo. He's uh, five years old, I think mm -hmm. it was. And boy, I'll tell you what, what a great When, when they came out of the uh, cake. It's very interesting, too. He, he's a bubble boy, um, which you don't often see nowadays. But uh, they wanted to bring some awareness. And he's obviously not able to get out to stretch marks where his mom works. Right. Uh, or grandma. 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 Oh, she's the one with... Right. The fake, yeah, right, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Go ahead. Fake, right. Yeah. Um, it's so three surgeries. They uh, it won't look so bad. Right. It's All right. Go better. Ahead. It's yeah. getting much better. The once the infection clears up around. It, it has to. But that red. Yeah, because he got the guy's drink and 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 yeah, boy, just, that messed him face, up. Yeah, it, and, and then you got to squeeze him to break him, and right. that, it just gets. Well, crazy. then you got it. Yeah. that with his face yeah. and it's yeah. just it was disgusting to be quite honest well that goes back to that looks like a scene from weapons of ass destruction okay right yeah, there right squeeze oh i do remember yeah, yeah, yeah about that. 15 minutes in the, into the pickles. movie yeah because wow. it's, it's you know it just it starts out like from boom. yeah it's, it's credits and bam we're you in know, the movie it's 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 worth the money i mean people yeah. you know that you say just there's nothing bang. to do around here bang <laughs> yeah. Just, yeah just right bang. into it mm. yeah good 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 movie and uh well, anyway, and then the last movie uh, for this month is Snatch Adams. Uh, boy, uh, it's a golfing movie. Remember that? Yeah. Yeah. So, if, 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 if golfing's a big thing. We, in fact, before the show, during our pre-production meeting, we were talking about uh, one of the golfers, mm -hmm. Phil Nicholson, right? <laughs> and so, and I thought to myself, wow. Related to Jack, I believe. Jack Nicholson, and but the fact that golfing is taken off and, and see this is what i mean about this is what i mean about stretch marks yeah, they're well, on it well the thing they're that, on that snatch right they're on it the the thing that's incredible about this movie is basically there our hero uh is a golfer that uh gets injured and then has to fight through rehab and fights back uh to get back on the tour and he snatches victory from the jaws of defeat right hence snatch, snatch adams. adams right Great, great. So just give movie. a little background. Yeah, that doesn't really do it justice because it's a fantastic. No, you movie. have to actually be there and, and mm -hmm. listen. Uh, the the job that the actor portrays is the caddy. Well, I will. When he comes you, just, out, you don't have to like yell at me. I, no, I'm, I'm not. Be there. I, I, but you're leaving out the part. I don't have to be there. I well, prefer to be, be there. Because I'd when, like when to be they there. bring out the ice cubes and the putters, 
Mm, uh, that's when it gets excited. That's yeah. and, you get to react that, reenact uh, that scene from and, the movie. And that's that's, that's what, pretty cool. That's a, you know, when I was in New York, uh, I had the opportunity a while ago to see Tony and Tina's wedding. Um, it's a play, but it's at that time you could actually participate in a wedding. Mm. Well, here with Snatch Adams, you get to participate and you get to use. A lighter, a small lighter. Right. You get to use the, the, the uh, jar of pickles, which they pass out, and you could keep them after the show because baby dills. So they're not. Yes, they're that's not, one of the yeah. dancers. Yeah. That named after one of the dancers, baby dills. Yeah. I love her. She, uh, and you know what? She doesn't want like, hey, baby dills. Okay. The next thing you know, you a little steak person, hits me. So. In a, yeah, yeah, she is. She, but she dances so nice. She can't walk down the steps well Real anymore. Well, but. but she knows bursitis. how to drop it low. She's got that bursitis. From yeah, that. she knows how to really, really drop, drop it, low. it low without crouching, which is incredible. Right. So, but to something go to see really and see how this interactive uh, movie. Snatch so you have Adams. pickles, you have ice, you have putters. Uh -huh. uh, I mean, and a lighter. I mean, what yeah, else? Do you and need? a pound of salami. Right that's, now, where that comes having. into play, I don't know. I'm gonna be real interested to see what they do with that. Well, that's from, curious. You know what? I read some of the reviews. I guess they place the. I don't need to know. Don't, 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 oh, I, I, I don't, don't I, I want, I want, I want the surprise. Yeah. So because I heard it's really a big surprise. What you you have to. So let me. Can I repeat the movies so people? Yeah, can Write yeah. these down. If you have a pen or pencil, uh, write this down. And and uh, boy, here it is again. Movies. There's one, two, three, four, five, six movies to finish out the end of the month. Mm -hmm. uh, very. Listen, please. Bring your own red nose because mm -hmm. uh, that's important. You'll get in those. free. You'll get in free. Thank mm -hmm. you. And they're playing that Pokemon game. You have to find a handle mm -hmm. uh, to the hammer. And right. Mr. Weller will be there. He'll be passing out uh, chaw. It's in a package. Okay. He'll be passing that out. Little packets of it so you can just place it right near mm -hmm. a lip. So, and just a pinch. Just a pinch. She can come. Yeah, he'll be there. And so, here are the movies again. You, you have your. Do you need a pen or. Give me a minute. And then you get to paper. We'll wait. A notebook paper. We'll wait. Okay, you got it? Just okay. use your hand. I mean, yeah. just come yeah. on. We don't got all the time. And here we go. How Stella got her tubes packed. Mm -hmm. That. I, I could almost cry because that's a very touching. Uh, it's getting to me already. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's beautiful. It's, it is. And the acting, just everything about it. Um, in fact, they had the one part that they cut out of the movie that they put it back in where there was a test tube baby. Mm. And the test tube baby said after they ended up being three or four years old that I had a room, a womb with the view. That's what he said, I had a womb with the view. That's what he was called. That's what he said, when he said a womb with the view. Now, he sounded a little El like little Elmer. Fudish, but he had a womb with a few. Now, how about this? Um, and then source rump. Wow. You know, that's something that you need to back in and pack in and see it. And again, as they always say, at the incredulous, incredible, ever popular. Ever, what's wrong? Ever popular stretch marks. Parking is always in the rear. And then Jeremy Holmes, uh, Johnny Be Good, and he's in The Rodfather. That'll be this Wednesday. Weapons of Ass Destruction, uh, great movie. Snatch Adams, and remember the tight ones. That's a great football movie. Mm. So there you have it, that list. And people were wondering, whoa, whoa, what, what's been going on at Stretch Marks? Well, this has been going on at Stretch Marks. Pretty good, huh? Yeah, I'm glad to, glad to see they're doing well. Over there. Oh wow! Are you kidding me? Little homegrown, successful business. It's always good to see, especially in these economic times. You know, it's good to see something that they built from the ground up, and then don't well, forget just from the ground. Right, and then you could find that uh, the up. cubic uh, rectilus. Don't forget that. Mm. So there's just a lot of things <laughs> you don't want to forget. That have you forgotten it? No. You're trying to. <laughs> Well, hey, these are the things that that people that drive you to go to a place like that. Like you, you were in Cedar Point. I mm. think that's nice. You took your kids and everything. But other people are saying to themselves, you know what, Cedar Point's cool. I get the ride thing, but come on. Hey, it's two hours away. It's it's fifty bucks a ticket. 
you know, not everybody has money to throw around and, right. uh, That's you know, why. like we do, right. we're swimming in because of the success of the show. Right. Um, but yeah, so th this is something free to do with the family. Again, if you bring the red nose. You have to um, bring a red nose. Right. And, and each individual in the family has to have the red nose. Right. To get it for free. Otherwise, I believe it was, what, seventy three fifty, Right. Per ticket. So. But, but, you get the, the DVRs. And a putter and the a ice. package of dill pickles. Right. Baby dill. The, the baby dill. She'll go home right. with you. If you have any time of an event the following day, and mm. she'll dance for a half hour on top of your table while you're eating dinner in the nude, so things well, are not looking necessarily. up. Oh, really? Right. You've had her over at the house. Well, oh. you got to pack her for, for that. For, for her to do that stuff. Mm. Well, I can't believe you're doing a whole episode on. on like you, you, I think you hit it right on the head. The, you may not have money to go to Cedar Point. You may not have money for gas. But you'll have money to go to Wampum. Mm -hmm. You'll have money to go to Stretch Mark. And Again, unless you're in Britain, then, you know, it could be quite expensive, actually. But uh, it's a right. once-in-a-lifetime experience, really. Right. Uh, no flash photography, though. No. It scares the dancers. It, it does. They, they don't like that. Uh, especially Baby Dill. Uh, any type she of had a laser lights. surgery. Well, flashing lights. Just really? That's bring, right. That's from when she was in the asylum. They yeah, did the strobe light thing. What? I think someone back to their hooking days. Oh, so, right. Yeah. yeah. Police. Yeah. The, the, the police and that. Wow. Well, anyway, listen, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Remember, we are on NCTV 45. Don't forget, if you're, you're bored out of your mind, you have nothing to do, you're hungry, you need to eat something, watch Cook in a Castle. I mean, come on. Can't Here, get any worse. They'll st that's right. It cannot get any mm -hmm. worse. I mean, if you're feeling down, low about yourself, you know, self-esteem self way down there, watch Cook in the Castle and right. you go, you know what? <laughs> At least I don't have it as bad as that guy. Right. You At know? least I don't have a show like that. Right. Right. At least I don't edit my shows like It'd that. And be two different people. Right. He's like, uh, yeah, Jason Bourne. Yeah. Or Jason Sanborn, the coffee, whatever right. he does. Does he still have a show, though? He might. Well, anyway... To all the peace, thanks, Dixie, Folks, thanks, Pat, thanks we'll see you for the tomorrow. coffee. We love you. We'll see you tomorrow. How'd they go? Folks, huh? Folks. Who? see you tomorrow. Who?